So, hey guys, um, we're here at the Transit Museum, and the controller that we're going to be mass ordering has finally come in. This is the beta test controller. Uh, as you can see, it's a little different than the SafeTech controller. You actually have a joystick type handle, um, just buttons. It's a little big uh, compared to the actual 160 controller, but it works for our purposes. So we're going we're gonna to do two tests. Um, one on the 160 and one on the R46. Uh, for now, we don't have the two-handle controls completely finessed, but we'll be working on that. Um, so I'm gonna try on a route that's above ground, so the scenery's a little bit better. Loading, so we're gonna load. Uh, bring it in a little bit. So, as this loads, I'm going to go over the button assignments first. So, this is your directional key, your reverser. You push up for forward, I think, and you push down for reverse. And obviously, the, the indicators on the screen will show you what position you're in. Now, on this side, you have three buttons here. The two outer buttons are your door controls, so this would be your your right doors and your left doors, and the center button's your horn. Right, okay, so now we're in the layup, so I'm gonna move this up and put it in forward. As you can see, the indicator has changed to forward. And now, one thing I have to note is that this controller is not spring-loaded, so I'm gonna move it back into neutral so I can demonstrate. So you can move it freely within the range, and obviously you can see that's changing there, so it's responding. So basically, all the way back, like in real life, is full service, and all the way forward is uh, maximum power, and somewhere in the middle, uh, about in the middle is neutral. So I'm gonna put it in direction, and we're gonna pull it into the station. Right. So, and then once I get into the station, I'll skip ahead to a faster section so we can sort of demonstrate how this works a little more succinctly. But the good thing about having this type of controller is that once you familiarize yourself with the operating range, you actually can uh, deactivate this whole display and run without any of the uh, informational displays. Okay, so since you guys can't see exactly what this is saying, I'm actually going to turn off this display. Um, we'll operate without the display. Um, obviously, you guys know this is a door indicator. Uh, and that's your speed. You can see that, right? Um, all right, let's go. The good thing about this not being spring-loaded is that you actually don't have to hold it there like you would have to in a real-life R160. But uh, obviously, if you leave it there and you forget what you're doing, you can obviously, it's easy to space out and forget that you're in power. But it's just whatever. It's not a big deal.
So this controller was relatively um, pricey, I guess, for what you're getting with it. Was it $130? It was, uh, uh, it was $100 yeah. something. Yeah, it's Virgil said it was like $129 or something like that. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's versatile, you use it for a lot of stuff, so. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I'm actually thinking about picking one up myself. Yeah. So, do you want to do curves or what are you going to do right now? It's gonna, I mean, it's a straight track. Right. I'm going to skip ahead. Let's go to the R46. Yep. 46. And we will run that on the... Alright, so basically... We're going to be testing this on the R46 now, and it's the same concept, it's a single handle train. Uh, it'll just, the only difference is you can actually see the controller on the screen, so you can see sort of how this this maps to the actual um, controller in the game in, in the visual sense. Uh, Alright, same concept, forward, uh, reverse. Can you see the controllers moving on the yeah, screen? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, so that's forward, and then... I mean, on the screen, it's going to be bigger than... The yeah, screen, yeah. So, it's gonna be more okay. so, door controls. That's right doors. This is left doors. Close left doors. And close right doors. And the horn. And... Look at the sound effects. <laughs> yeah. All right, brake test looks good. We're gonna do a sensitive rolling test. Sensitive rolling test is good. Take power. We'll just go a couple of stops. Do you think it's full power right now? Yeah. It's all the way. Yeah, I'll just go a couple of stops. Uh, I think I'll take it to... What's... What's... We'll take it to King's Highway. What's speed it. limit there right now? That's the... Uh, what's speed limit in the area? Like 30 something? I don't think there's timers in the section, so it's however fast you can get the train going. Uh -huh. You're not going to break 30 if you're on the local, so. mm -hmm. especially in an R46. Psychotic train driver. Yeah, right. Probably get fired for that. Oh, yeah. What's the little thing you get fired for? Well, you can get fired for. It depends, like, if you have many. Uh, let's say if you if you ran red light many times, right? Yeah. You get, like, firstly, I mean, you get suspended, but, like, if you do it many times, I mean, I probably get fired, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's it for now. Um, basically, uh, you guys have seen the way the controller works. Um, 
Put that in. Okay. So if you guys want to come check this out, uh, the next time we're having an open BBD session is going to be May um, on Saturdays again. Uh, the hours have not been finalized yet, so uh, but I'll let you know when they are, and I'll I'll post an update in the description. I'll link you guys to the event calendar. Yeah. And uh, when in doubt, just show up. Uh, it's usually in the afternoon, so probably between. 11.30 and 3 o'clock or 3.30. So if you show up around then, you should be able to get in here. We have eight computers, right? Or nine, or eight, nine. Yeah, I don't know. Eight, yeah, we have eight computers in here. I'm not sure so, if they all work. <laughs> yeah, well, they all work. But um, we'll have the rest of the controllers in by then. Uh, this has mine seal of approval, so, so we're good on that. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in May. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. See ya. All right.